Bledsoe had a great first half. He passed for 300 yards. Here's an example. He looks downfield and sees Philip Bobo, one of his favorite targets in this game. That's a school record 87-yard pass play, one of two touchdowns for Bobo, 14-0 Cougars. And Bobo obviously thinks he's a reindeer there. In the second half, the Utes make it a game. Frank Dulce hitting Henry Lusk, 50 yards in the score. Cougars lead cut to just seven. Late in the fourth, Cougars lead by just three. Dulce again, finding some time, doing a little dipsy doodling, and then connects with Keith Williams. Williams takes it from there. Just beats the cornerback there. He goes 70 yards. He ends up inside the 10-yard line. Good enough to get the field goal kicker out and a chance to tie Chris Jurgensen. If he makes the 22-yarder, we're tied. Not even close. So the Cougars almost blow this one, almost blowing a 21-zip lead, but they hang on 31-28. As for Drew Bledsoe, he passed for a school record 476 yards, including two touchdown bombs to Bobo. Bledsoe says he'll decide if he's NFL draft-bound just before the January 6th deadline.